the devotees sat under the bakul tree in the panchavati tarok who had just returned from brindabon told them stories of his visit a little later sri ramakrishna was seated again on his couch the devotees sitting on the floor shyam das was singing with his party he sang of the gopis grief at their separation from sri krishna dry as a desert seemed the happy lake to them the chatak dried of thirst gazing toward the clouds the master became somewhat abstracted but the musician could not create a spiritual atmosphere sri ramakrishna asked nabai of kunnagar to sing a kirtan nabai was monomohan's uncle he lived on the bank of the ganges devoting his time to prayer and meditation and was a frequent visitor of sri ramakrishna at dokkineshwar nabai began the kirtan in a loud voice the master left the couch and began to dance immediately nabai and other devotees began to dance around him the atmosphere became intense with spiritual fervor after the kirtan sri ramakrishna resumed his seat with great feeling he began to sing of the divine mother his eyes turned upward o mother ever blissful as thou art do not deprive thy worthless child of bliss my mind knows nothing but thy lotus feet the king of death scowls at me terribly tell me mother what shall i say to him he sang again as is a man's meditation so is his feeling of love as is a man's feeling of love so is his gain and faith is the root of all he continued this world o mother is thy mad house what can i say of all thy virtues setting aside thine elephant thou roamest about on foot putting off thy gems and pearls o self-willed mother thou dost adorn thy comely neck with a garland of human heads now thou must rescue ram prashad out of the forest of this world again he sang why should i go to ganga or gaya to kashi kanchi or prabhas so long as i can breathe my last with kali's name upon my lips and again dwell o mind within yourself enter no other's home if you but seek there you will find all you are searching for and then the black bee of my mind is drawn in sheer delight to the blue lotus flower of mother shama's feet and then cherish my precious mother shama tenderly within o mind may you and i alone behold her letting no one else intrude 
As the master sang this last song, he stood up. He was almost intoxicated with divine love. Again and again, he said to the devotees, Cherish my precious Mother Shyama tenderly within. Then he danced and sang. Is Kali, my mother, really black? The naked one of blackest hue lights the lotus of the heart. The master reeled as he sang. Niranjan came forward to hold him. The master said to him softly, Don't touch me, you rascal. Seeing the master dance, the devotee stood up. He caught hold of M's hand and said, Don't be foolish. Dance. Dance.